balancing our act is what our show is all about, and sometimes that includes our budgets too. Today, we're joined once again by our politically savvy bloggers to find out how Washington can learn a thing or two from moms and how they suggest we all live within our means. So important. This morning, we are welcoming back Debbie Devine and Michelle Tingler from Opinionated Mama and Gretchen Hamill from Public Notice. Welcome back. Yay, Hi, nice to be here. As always, you guys look fabulous. <laughs> All right, let me start with you ladies. Um, being a busy mom, I have kids, you know, I'm always trying to stick to my budget. Hard to do. So what tips do you have on living within my means? Let me start with Debbie. Well, um, it's important as moms that we have to model that good behavior. Yes. So um, fiscal responsibility is one of the most <laughs> important lessons that we can give to our children. Because, it is. Yes, it absolutely is. Michelle? It's about piggy bank economics. Piggy bank. It's about chores, that. choices, and charts. Okay, <laughs> I like that. Say that again. <laughs> Chores, choices, and charts. I gotta take note on that one. I'm really <laughs> loving this. All right, Gretchen, now how big a problem is debt in our society today and how can we spend smarter? Well, debt is a big problem. You I have, know. <laughs> <laughs> I know too. <laughs> I think we all know. We all know. Um, but, you know, over the course of the past few years, you have seen a, a change. The American public is now saving more than they have been saving, which is a good thing. But debt is still a big problem. And if you look at our federal debt, it's the entire size of our economy. It's bad. It's bad. And it's now let me bad. follow up with something, because we're always talking on the show that, you know, the moms are the CEOs of the household. Uh -huh. And, you know, I do believe that's true because we are everything in life. Uh, give me. <laughs> Give me some examples of how frugal moms can stretch, you know, that, that, that budget into, like, income. Oh, <laughs> they, <laughs> oh they can stretch it into a lot a of different fortune. ways. You know, they, they know how to stretch a dollar. They know how, one, they prioritize. I mean, you all know that better than anyone. Mm -hmm. You know how to prioritize what's the most important things that need, need money and that you need to pay for. You also know how to shop and shop wisely. Yes. But most importantly, Moms are planners. They plan for their future, they plan for the future of their children, and they save accordingly. And how, now that we talk about moms doing mm -hmm. that, Debbie, um, <laughs> how do I teach my girls, and I think I'm doing the right thing, but I'm gonna wait for you to maybe give me some more tips. Yeah. How can I teach my kids to, to learn that relationship with money and, and how to be frugal and how to spend smarter? Well, like Michelle said, um, we have kind of a three-prong approach. It's about chores and choices and charts. So okay. the chores thing, I happen to be a big fan of chores. I think chores can help your kids learn not only about net worth, but self-worth. So you reward them. I, mm -hmm. You reward them for things that they do around the home. It doesn't have to be things like making their bed, but extra things like, you know, washing the car. How and much do they get for washing the car now? Well, it depends. I mean, maybe <laughs> a, a, a dollar, a dollar. <laughs> maybe five dollars. It just dollar. sort of depends. Whatever the market will bear. There How about go. that? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and, and it, it's and, about choices yeah. also. It because we have to teach our kids to spend, save, and share wisely. And so you can, when they're little, you can start buckets where they literally, when they earn their own money or they get a gift, and they can put a little bit in each bucket, but they have to put a little bit. It's up to them uh -huh. to make the choice, and you give them that power. And then you empower them to make smarter decisions and have the conversation about why they're putting what in each bucket. And when they're older, then you look, teach them how to balance a checkbook. Now, there's no money for homework, right? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> or grades. There no, you go. No. <laughs> or making their bed or setting the table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Very strict. <laughs> now, Gretchen, let me ask you this. What is the message you want to leave when, when it comes to moms and budgeting? Just give me that nice message that always says, close the shop. Well, you know, I think it comes down to prioritizing and yeah. it comes down to spending, sharing and saving mm -hmm, and finding mm -hmm. the appropriate ways to do that with the amount of money that you take in every every week or every month. Yeah. And getting our priorities straight. Yeah. Yes. And not living mm -hmm. beyond your means. That's right. And that's exactly. a big problem. Oh, I'm yeah. going to end with you, Debbie. No, I'm just it's important for us as moms. It all starts with us and we have to model that behavior and make sure that we're sending our little babies out into the world knowing how to balance their checkbook and that their priorities are indeed straight when it comes to keeping a good fiscal house. I'm doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much. Thank I really you. appreciate thank it. You. And if you'd like more information on balancing your budget, be sure to check out publicnotice.org. And for more information on opinionated mamas, just check out o-mama.com.